Hi, my name is Renee Jordan and I'm the Park Planning Manager. One of the things that I enjoy in my free time is backyard birding. Getting started is easy. Just take notice of what kinds of birds you're seeing come by your yard and in your neighborhood when you're out on your walks. You can use an app called Merlin Bird ID to learn which birds you have. Learn more about the birds you're seeing and then determine if you're interested in making your environment more hospitable to them so you can spend even more time watching them. There are a bunch of ways to attract yard birds to your yard and you can implement one of them or all of them depending on your level of engagement. One way to attract birds is to provide food. It's nice to know which birds are coming by so that you can put out what they like to eat. Some birds like to eat insects and some birds like to eat sunflower seeds while others like millet or peanuts. When you think about providing food, there is a level of commitment here. You have to keep the feeder full and make sure it doesn't get wet. And you have to select a feeder that doesn't get messy by spilling seed on the ground since you don't want to attract rodents and you might not want your dog to eat it. I'm not sure about having a seed feeder, so I, instead I got this suet feeder. This is really great because you can buy a suet cake made of seeds or peanuts and there's no maintenance other than replacing it. It's very inexpensive and easy to find at a local neighborhood market. It's fun to watch the birds hang on to it to get to bite, it, bite to eat. Another very easy way to make your yard more hospitable is to put out water in a bird bath or by reusing any shallow dish that you can raise off the ground. There's also a level of commitment here. It's important to keep up with the water, changing it daily so that it does not attract mosquitoes and so that the supply is fresh and something the birds can depend on, especially in the hot summer. In late winter and spring, birds are looking for nesting material. You can help out by providing natural fibers like unspun wool or yes, even pet hair by brushing your pet outside. But don't put out dryer lint or empty out vacuum canisters. That needs to go in the trash. The dust particles melt when they get wet and can lead to a nest falling apart, which is disastrous for eggs and hatchlings. This little contraption holds fiber for the birds to pull out bit by bit. Another way to attract birds is to put out a nest box that is sized to the type of bird you want to attract based on what you've seen. Other considerations would be where you hang it and how high you'll hang it based on the type of box and the bird you want to attract. Nest boxes do need annual maintenance, so make sure that it has an adequate flap that opens so that you can empty it out when nesting is complete. While birding, I noticed that we had a few small birds like chickadees, bluebirds, and wrens in the neighborhood. I thought it would be neat to see if I could attract one to a nest in the box. I picked up this box and hung it in early March before the trees put on leaves. Eventually, I noticed a chickadee pair exploring the box by taking turns hopping in and out and bringing in nesting material like oak catkins and even dog fur. Backyard birding is a great way to feel connected to nature in your own backyard. It's relaxing and goes perfectly with a cup of coffee in the morning. Whatever you choose to provide, food, water, fiber, or nest box, you'll be rewarded with birds spending more time in your backyard.